Hello students, today this is my third lecture on electrostatics. In this lecture, I am telling you how to use the superposition principle as well as vector form of the Coulomb's law. Let's see, first problem I am just putting over here, that is, two point charges A and B have respectively half Coulomb and two Coulomb. With their position vectors, this is position vectors of A and this is position vector of B. Find the force on charge at A and B. First of all, what is QA that is of C? And what is position vector of A? I plus J plus K. Similarly, QB is 2C and position vector is this. Now, what is the previous formula in vector form? FAB vector is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught QA QB upon magnitude of RAB square and unit vector of R. Unit vector is simply vector of the quantity upon magnitude of the quantity. That's why finally formula will be, this is the very important formula, value of 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught that is 9 into 10 raised to 9 and value of charge is given. Position vector we have calculated and this will be the result. And finally when you solve this, you will get this result. Now, what is superposition principle in case of electrostatic forces? Let you have multiple charges Q1, Q2, Q3, so on till Qn. Due to multiple charges, one charge is placed at the center. On this charge, force due to all multiple charges will be different. That will be F12, F23, F1, F1N F1 like this. What is superposition principle? When you have multiple number of charges, force due to multiple number of charges is the vector sum of individual forces vector sum that is the most important thing here you have to remember vector sum vector sum means you can apply superposition principle through the vector sum vector sum means what that is parallelogram law triangle law components all these concepts you can apply here when you solve f12 and like this this will be the final answer now next problem i'm going to solve which is based on the superposition principle let you have three charges q1 q2 and q3 they are separated by 2 2 meter each now you need to find out the force on charge at right end right end means you have to calculate the force on this charge this is positive charge q1 is positive charge therefore force due to q1 on q3 that will be f1 repulsive in nature outward direction and force on q3 with respect to q2 that is also repulsive that's why both are collinear if both are collinear they can be added f1 plus f2 what is f1 that is k q1 q2 upon r square and we can put the value and get the result by this way and similarly f2 is equal to k q2 q3 upon r square q2 and q3 is given here uh, that is 20 micro coulomb each and now put the value and get the result that is 0 0.9 newton and finally, put this in equation 1. When you put in equation 1, F1 is 0 0.225 Newton and F2 is 0 0.9 Newton. By this way, you can solve this question. Thank you. Now, next problem is here. If you have a square having identical charge Q placed at the corners of a square of side A, side is A, find the net electrostatic force of any of the charge, any one of the charge. Now let's see, I want to calculate the charge at point C where Q is placed, which is positive. All charges are positive. That's why force due to A on C, that is FA. Force due to Q on C, that is FV. Force on C due to D, that is FD. All forces are by this way. When you calculate the resultant of FA and FA and FV, that will be lying along FA, like this. You can add both these. This is the simplest way. Otherwise, you can calculate by other way also. What is FA? 1 by 4 pi naught Q square separation between A and C. A and C separation, if it is A, you can calculate this. If it is A, it is A that will be A root 2. Now put this value. Along AC, Q square upon 4 pi epsilon naught divided by 2A square root a 2a means 2a square and component of this force is along x-axis that is cos 45 degree that is 1 by root 2 minus along y-axis that is in downward direction 
that is sine 45 degree that is also 1 by root 2 along y axis you can put the unit vector i along uh, x axis along y axis you can put the unit vector j downward that is negative similarly in fv that is along bc along bc you can see here this is bc that is in negative y axis you can put by this way similarly you can calculate the fd fd is along x axis that way you can put the unit vector i now finally you have to apply the superposition principle where total force acting at a point is the vector sum of individual forces now put the value vectorially you will find this result dear student i am just giving you the concept you can solve variety of question only based on these questions now next problem is here which is based on the equilibrium two charges are there one is plus 4q another is q are placed at distance l apart a third charge is placed so that all the three charges will be in equilibrium what do you mean by equilibrium equilibrium means sum of the forces acting on that charge will be zero total force is zero net force is zero if two charges are separated by distance l third part let this is the third charge at distance x from a point and at distance l minus x from b point obviously if total is l now if third charge i am putting minus q dash if third charge is minus q dash total force is zero when you calculate the charge on this force due to positive charge that will be attractive in nature force due to this second positive charge that will be attractive in nature you have 180 degree angle between two forces if there is 180 degree angle between let this is f1 and this is f2 at 180 degree you can simply write f1 minus f2 is equal to 0 because net force is 0 and finally you can write f1 is equal to f2 now solve the value of f1 that is k 4q q dash upon x square and f2 is k q q dash l minus x whole square when you calculate the value of x that will be 2l by 3 it means system will be in equilibrium when we move x distance from a that is 2l by 3 now for equilibrium if you want to calculate the value of that charge which is assumed by you third charge you can put the value of q dash you can put uh, compare them and put the value of x which we have already calculated 2l by 3 and you can find the value of q dash that will be 4q by 9 this is very important question for board as well as competition point of view now next question i am going to discuss here that is the force due to extended body when you have continuous body how will you calculate the force i am taking a rod having density lambda over here its density is lambda coulomb per meter and you need to find out the force at charge q at distance a length of the rod is l and from the right end of the rod there is distance a a charge is placed at that point now Uh, you know coulomb's law is only applicable for the point charge that's why you have to assume the point charge on this rod that this charge is dq and its small element is dx length as lambda is charge per unit length you can write dq upon dx now dq can be calculated that is lambda dx force due to dq that will be df which is repulsive in nature and it will be kq lambda dx upon x square in order to calculate the total force you have to integrate df that will be integration from this point this is a and total length is a plus l limit is a to a plus l rest of the term you can put over here and finally constant term will come out that is kq lambda and inside you have integration of 1 by x square integration of 1 by x square i will derive over here that is x minus 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 and finally it will be minus 1 upon x remember this is the standard result when you have 1 upon x square dx that is minus 1 by x put the value you will get this result now one more problem i am going to solve that is the last problem a charge q is divided into two small objects what should be the value of charge on the object that force between the object will be maximum maximum you need to find out the maximum value of force what is maximum value of force let this is the maximum value of force you have to take the different slope is zero that's why first differentiation if this is y this is x i can write dy by dx of the function is zero when you get the maxima 
this is the concept you should apply over here let one charge is small q other charge will be capital q minus small q if you have total charge q it is divided in two charge let one charge is q other will be q minus small q they are separated let distance by r then force will be f is equal to kq q minus q upon r square in order to calculate the maximum force differentiation of this particular function will be zero according to this concept now differentiated it will be kq q upon r square minus kq square r square which is equal to zero compared uh, constant term that will be kq divided by r square minus two differentiation of because function is small q and differentiation of small q is one in first case rest of the term directly i'm writing here and in second q square differentiation is 2q with respect to q that's why it is 2q now r square is over here and you can compare it and finally you'll get small charge will be q by 2 it means when you divide the charge half of its original value you will get the maximum force thank you very much for a further update subscribe my channel thank you